next two's Halloween event is live. Festival Lost 2022 is here. Time to get spooky. New looks similar to Souls of Heroes with the event card and last year's Festival of the Lost. So let's stop stalling and now I'll jump into it. Festival of the Lost is Destiny 2's Halloween event. It revolves around currencies of candy and pages. Those currencies can be attained through the event, activity, haunted sectors, or areas, but haunted. There's also the event card, which is like the Souls of Heroes event card, which can get you some loot and an event seal. And that contributes to a seal that when you do all the events, you get a title. This lasts three weeks, which means you have lots of time to do this. There's also new loot you can get from the event. Get in. Also, I wanted to tell you guys, I have a Twitch. Tuesdays being Destiny 2 and Saturdays being Warframe. So join in on the chat and fill up so I can talk to you people. I won't be streaming for this week, this video comes out, so next week I'm going to start it up and hopefully I can be consistent. Okay, currencies. Currencies are candy, spectral pages, and manifested pages. Candy is obtained through bounties, activities, and killing stuff with your mask equipped. This can be used to buy mystery goodie bags. 650 for the blue mystery goodie bag and the epic mystery bag is 1300 and is larger. These bags contain loot. Now give me a round of applause for that. Then we have spectral pages. The spectral pages are obtained through doing other activities. You then manifest them by playing haunted lost sectors and killing headless ones, which manifest the pages. To do with these pages is fill in the tales of forgotten. Filling in it gives loot and lore books. The activity is haunted sectors. They take place in a lost sector decorated with Halloween related stuff. Spiders, skeletons, pumpkins, candles. Gram. The main part is you stand in summoning circles. Standing in these summoning circles results in summoning a headless one. Kill the headless one pretty easily. Like, just shoot at them with like a rocket launcher and that should take them down pretty well. Maybe hit them with a few shotgun shells. Punch them a few times, you know, the normal stuff. And then they die. When they die, they drop candy. Killing them manifests the pages. Ten headless ones seems to be the limit before the boss. And then you have to wait for the timer to run out. I don't know why they capped it, they should have like just uncapped it for people who just want to grind, but it's Bungie, they do what they want. After the timer runs out, the boss spawns in, stand in more summoning circles, summoning more headless ones to drop pumpkin bombs. And when the boss hits two thirds health and one third health, you'll need to destroy an immune shield with pumpkin bombs. After the boss dies, you can grab your loot. End of act. The event card is a new thing for Festival of Lost, but was introduced during Solstice of Heroes. It has many challenges that you could do, and it gives loot and tickets for the premium stuff if you have $10 to pay for the premium pass. Spend $10 for that, then you should probably seek financial advice, since you don't know what you're doing with your money. What I'm saying is that it's, it's not worth the pass, but if you want to get it, then I guess you can. I don't know why. These challenges are really easy, and I'm going to just give some general advice for these challenges. Challenges that need you to manifest pages, we'll just need to do haunted lost sectors, maybe get some friends to goof off with it, because it'll get a bit boring. For getting spectral pages, you can just do any activity, wherever you want to do, whatever is fastest for you. I suggest doing strikes, as they're the easiest, but it is up to you. The killing headless one challenge should be done along with manifesting pages as you'll be killing headless ones to manifest pages. The challenge that needs you to earn candy activities will be progressed when doing the activity of your choice. With all that candy, you can also purchase epic goodie bags for a challenge. The challenge that requires you to complete haunted lost sectors is really easy. Just make sure you stay until the end of the mission. So when you get the loot, don't immediately head to orbit. Wait a second, and then when it starts counting down, you can head to orbit. Another three defeat enemies challenge. We have auto rifles, pulse rifles, and sniper rifle challenges. You can be done by just going into an activity of your choice and kill stuff. There's another one with arc energy, so just equip arc and the sniper's arc so you get some arc kills. Occult ritual needs you to do the ritual activities, so again, recommending strikes. And if you're doing strikes, you can complete the strike deck challenge, which requires you to do strikes or catch crash. Challenge after that is happy haunting grounds, which you need to complete haunted lost sectors, and that is all the challenges. So to summarize, do activities and I'll recommend strikes again. Haunted Lost Sectors, kill enemies with what you need, and with all that candy, grab those epic goodie bags. Okay, so loot. Vessel Lost has four weapons. You can get two auto rifles, one pulse rifle, and a new Mecha Bray Sniper. Two auto rifles for restoring Bray Tech Werewolf are 450 RPMs. From the reviews on Light.gg, we can use to look for rolls for weapons and other stuff. A few ratings say Horror Story is kind of a mid-gun, not bad. 
just kind of mid with a 3.2 in PvE and 2.7 in Crucible. But Bright Tech Borough from its reviews, rating of 4.2 PvE and 4.3 PvP, it is a good gun. So pick up a Bright Tech Borough Wolf, just a good wall of it, because the roll matters. Pulse, Jurassic Green is a 540 RPM rapid frame pulse rifle, rating for this is a 3.7 Crucible and PvP it's not a bad gun according to the community, so I know you've been waiting for the new weapon, the Mecha Bray. It is a 72 RPM sniper, an aggressive frame, meaning high damage, but high recoil, and has just the coolest sound. It literally has instant transmission as its sound. Now the community gave this a 4.0 PvE and a 4.7 in PvP. So what that means is a Mecha Bray is a good gun, especially in PvP, which makes sense since Snipers are just good in PvP. So look at this gun now, and again, it just sounds so cool. I gotta say, that's probably the coolest thing about the gun, it's just how it sounds when you shoot. Now, I didn't go over everything with these weapons, but the resource I used was Light.gg, which is a great way to look at weapon rolls, and what is new, also has reviews for, for weapons, so use it, it's good. So that's this year's Festival of the Lost for you. Went over the currency, the activity, advice for the challenges, and even went over the weapons a little bit. Hopefully this video helped you out, and if it did, hit that subscribe button. And this is Toaster, Ghost